I'm about to take a flight on one of the oldest Airbuses in the world. So this is Toronto Pearson International Airport here in Canada and tonight I'm flying back to the UK on board an Airbus A310. Outside of Iran the only airline that flies them at the moment is a company called Air Transat who fly them from here in Canada to holiday destinations around North America and across to Europe as well. Big thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. So this aircraft right behind me is the one that's going to be taking me across the Atlantic to Glasgow tonight. Um, it was originally delivered to a small startup airline that you may have heard of now called Emirates when it was brand new and Air Transat took delivery of her in 2001. Aside from a small incident where the rudder came off mid-flight, it's enjoyed a relatively smooth career with Air Transat taking holiday makers all over the world. But along with the rest of our Transat A310s, it's going to be retired in a couple of months' time. So it's time to get on board one now before they all go off to the desert. Darkness fell, as well as the snow, and my ride was eventually towed around the airport to the stand we'd be going from across the terminal. Right, so they've just moved the A310 round to its stand where we're going to be going from in a bit. So it means we're getting a bit closer to departure time. I'm going to get something to eat before heading down to the gate. My gate was quite a walk from the main terminal area and it was already getting busy an hour before boarding. Soon though, all seven boarding groups were boarded one at a time and of course I'd be in the very last group today. Thank you. Thank you. It was soon time to head down the jet bridge to one of the oldest airbuses in the world. Hello. Good, thank you. Thank you. Air Transat's A310 has a small club cabin at the front which seems to be more of a premium economy cabin. Behind it is the actual economy cabin with seats in a 333 configuration. So on board the Air Transat E310, one of the oldest Airbus still flying. Looking forward to this, pretty cool. Honestly, I'm quite surprised at how spacious these seats are. Um, I was expecting the worst. I'd heard really bad things about a Transat A310s, but it's actually not that bad. It's really nice, comfy padded seats as well. Not sure whether I'll be saying that in seven hours or not, but it's all right at the moment. The cabin does show its age, with the retro overhead consoles and the big TV screens at the front being a throwback to the early 90s. The window shades are these old-style fabric ones. Fairly soon the jet bridge was disconnected and we pushed back to get on our way. Before we can all enjoy the wonders of in-flight activities, let's review the safety features of this aircraft. I always love listening to the engine start up and this was no exception. The A310 just sounds incredible when it starts up. The first step tonight though was to the de-icing pan to get rid of some of the snow and ice from off the wings. As you can see we're in the uh, de-icing facility and uh, we'll have to um, spray the aircraft for de-icing on the wings tonight. They run quite an efficient de-icing operation here at Toronto. so they had one machine on the left hand side of the aircraft and another one working at the same time on the other side. The de-icing took a few minutes but we were soon on our way to the active runway to commence our takeoff for the short flight across the Atlantic.
tonight then took us northeast out of Toronto towards Newfoundland before crossing the Atlantic and coasting in over the Outer Hebrides, descending into Glasgow. Flight time tonight was 6 hours and 6 minutes at a cruising altitude of 35,000 feet. I pre-ordered a gourmet meal on tonight's flight, but I ended up getting a regular meal as well. The regular meal was sweet and sour chicken with rice and was soon followed by my pre-ordered meal of Hunter's chicken. The seats reclined quite a long way in economy, meaning I was able to get relatively comfortable on this flight. I was surprised that there was Wi-Fi on board such an old aircraft which had a good variety of TV and movies as well as a flight map but sadly no internet access. It wasn't long before the sun was rising and they came round with a coffee service. It came with a slice of bread that I initially thought was mouldy but it just turned out to be some sort of fruit loaf. So it's morning and we've got about an hour left to run on our flight into Glasgow and overall I have to say that I'm really impressed with their Transat A310, it's really good. I was expecting it to be really cramped and really uncomfortable and not that great and it's kind of exceeded all of my expectations. The seats are nice, they're really comfortable, the cabin crew are lovely plenty of space here in the seat. The service has been really good as well and it's actually been a really good experience. I've enjoyed this flight. The sunrise this morning was gorgeous and it lit up the A310's wing beautifully. We soon started our descent into a gloomy morning in Western Scotland. We touched down in a cloud of spray bang on time. My ride to Glasgow tonight cost me £258 or around $336 US dollars. This works out to a cost of 8 pence per mile. For the comfort on board I thought this was really good value for money. I just want to say a big thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Surfshark's a VPN provider. A VPN is a tool that encrypts your connection to the internet, meaning that you're always safe when connecting to public Wi-Fi. When you connect to public Wi-Fi, you could be sharing your data with anyone. When it's turned on, Surfshark encrypts all the data sent via the internet so that no one can see your passwords, private messages, steal your photos, videos or any other sensitive data. As I travel around the world, certain websites are blocked in some countries. Even your favourite YouTuber is blocked in China. Surfshark allows you to access all the same sites that you use at home. Surfshark also allows you to unblock content. Whenever I'm travelling I like to stay connected to home and carry on watching my favourite TV shows. But sites like BBC iPlayer are blocked outside the UK. Surfshark allows me to connect to a UK server and then appear as if I'm in the UK, meaning I can still watch British TV. Surfshark's available for all of your devices, there's an app for Mac, Windows, iOS, Android and many more. 
and if you use the link down below with the promo code of Noel Phillips, you'll get an 83% discount off a membership with Surfshark and an extra month for free. So back in the UK in Glasgow after my first and quite possibly last flight on the Airbus A310. It's quite sad really I haven't flown on one before because it's a really nice plane and really comfortable even for its age it was really good. I hope you've enjoyed this video please let me know what you think to it down in the comments below but in the meantime as always thanks for watching take care and I'll see you next time.